Good evening, friends. Good evening, Father. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of from Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of from Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of from Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, <coughs> that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. For the entrance theme, we will sing, As we gather, may your spirit work within us. Hymn number 330. Lord, 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 have mercy. 
Joyfully draw water. 
is called to work together with one another so that the body, the church, can function well. Yes, my dear friends, Jesus is the head of the body, the church, and we are its parts. We are called to work together in unity and harmony, in one community, in one body, the church. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate with love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and our our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember especially the dearly departed members of our families, all and young ones who have gone ahead of us. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. We pray in a special way for all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today. We also pray in a special way for all those who ask us to pray for them. We pray for all those in our families, in our societies, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our church, in our convents, priests, nuns, who have been afflicted by this deadly virus, that all of us may return, recover, and return back to good health. We also pray for several of our um, people in our communities, in our homes, in our institutions, who have lost a loved one. Several of our ex-students and teachers have lost their loved ones. We pray in a special way for them, including our students who have lost their parents. We pray for them. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, the frontline workers who risk their lives daily to keep us safe. And we also pray in a special way for the speed development of our vaccination so that all of us may return back to normal life. Right. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, my dear friends, taught us to call God our Father, and so with confidence and courage we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth, earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory of God is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Love not our sins, from the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Each one of us, my dear friends, is important. We are part of one body. We are called to accept one another, to work with one another, and to live in unity, in peace, and harmony. And as a sign of our willingness to do this, let us turn to one another, smile on our faces, and reach out our hands in a gesture of God's love and peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take us into the world, grant the peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and be prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come for you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray for the doctors, nurses, and attendants. Protect them. Bless those doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. You are sent forth to live in unity, in peace, and harmony in one community, the body of Christ, the Church. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
I love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Sakha, thou whose very name inspires confidence. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother. In temptations against the holy virtue of purity. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may quickly rise again should I have the misfortune to fall into sin. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life. Help me, O loving Mother, in sickness and pain, in poverty and distress. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may not delay my conversion from day to day. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may ever love and serve Thee and invoke Thy assistance. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may be able to lead others to love, serve and pray to Thee. Help me, O loving Mother, when death is near and I am about to pass into eternity. Help me, O loving Mother, to my last hour, to my last breath, do thou watch over me. Help me, O loving Mother, pray for us, O Mother of perpetual succor, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Almighty and merciful God, who in order to assist the human race, has filled the Blessed Virgin Mary, to become the mother of thy only begotten Son. Grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall place all our needs, all our petitions at the feet of our loving Mother, while we thank her for all the graces and blessings we have received through her intercession. We shall take the Namina prayers together. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me, a miserable sinner, at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all, the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling 
I wish to seize the call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can to obtain it from me, namely the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of perpetual Sufferer, Suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable. Help the faint-hearted, cheer those that weep, pray for the people, be the advocates of the clergy, and intercede for all devout women, that all feel thy aid, who endure thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that thy you honestly implore your heart eternal aid, may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. We shall take the memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. In spite of this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the world incarnate, Despise not my patience, but thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body. And by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary of a Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.
Same to you, Father. My dear friends, before we uh, close for the evening, just a small announcement. Today, Father Maria celebrates his congregation feast today. The feast of his patron saint, Saint Gaspar. So we wish him, on behalf of all of you, a very, very happy feast.